All right, good morning, YouTube fans. This is Josiah here again with updates concerning the 4G18 with the 4G15 twin cam head. All right, I've been asked some questions as to um, how come I'm using a 4G93 head, but um, I am not using a 4G93 head. I'm using a 4G15 head from ACK that was original originally distributor um, what is 4G93 is actually the wiring harness if you notice I'm using the airflow the wiring harness is from a 4G93 engine but currently I'm running a 4G18 system with the um, 4G15 head right if you notice no distributor I'm using coil packs on the engine um, but I just wanted to explain one and two things that you'll um, run into, small things that you'll run into if you're trying to do this build. Um, I left it out in my other updates. Um, one is the, um, the water piping to go around to the black back of the block. Now if you notice there's a screw that's supposed to line up right here but um this pipe is for the cs and it doesn't totally line up with the um ck head so i had to do this kind of primitive um holding mechanism for it to hold now the reason why i had to use this pipe is because um it has a bend in the black of the block to accommodate the um knock sensor the original ck pipe does not so hence the reason i have to use that this water pipe all right but it doesn't match up and it keep if you don't do this it'll keep on moving and leak leaking water to the back of the um thermostat housing all right um another thing was um I use back the CK the 4G15. This is the original exhaust for this head. The 4G um, 18 had come with the CS was a four into one system. As I explained before, this is a tri wire system, right? Um, it gives better torque at low end. Um, what else have I used that isn't originally CS? Well, this manifold is originally. Um, CS but it comes from the 4G15. I use this small type plenum manifold because you get better response at lower RPM and um, it just pulls better from lower RPM versus the big plenum silver manifold that I used to have there before. Right. Um, what else? I think those were the only other mods that I did. Um, excuse the untidy wiring in the car because um it's still a work in progress so i haven't painted the head cover and stuff like that i'm still in the progress of you know working on it i'm going to stroke it to 1.8 liters and use high compression pistons i'm using i'm going to go to 12 to 1 for my current um 10.5 to 1. Um, I won't be turboing again and I'm still yet to um dyno it but this Saturday I'll be taking on one and two um cars because there'll be a car show at the Dwight Talk Stadium in Tobago and obviously there will be some drag racing after so I'll be able to um see what the engine can really do. Alright um I'll post some videos at that time to let you all see what the car is capable of. Um, the reason I haven't posted much videos because I do not have a good camera to do proper YouTube videos. But I'm using my phone for now. So you all can see step by step what I've been doing. This is the car in its entirety.
My rims are not in top condition because um, my pockets are not as deep, but um, as I said, it's a step-by-step -step process so I can um, reach the level that I want to. So please forgive. My airbags have popped, but um, are expensive to replace. This is about 180 US, and the dashboard is about 900 TT. But as I said, um, I'm getting there. Um, I'll give you a little, a little start up and run. She's a little rough um, because of the injectors, but um, I've ordered some 275 cc injectors from Bosch that I'm going to use. So just to try to get a little more fuel inside the engine. I'll also do some extractors and some other small upgrades. If you notice the kind of missing sound it makes is because um, one of the injectors are failing. high pitch and I have a slight exhaust leak. But she works pretty well, especially with this small plenum manifold. Um, yes, I was also asked to explain what is this here. Well, I tried it. The car came without um, ABS and I forcefully tried to install it into the vehicle. I did the hardware wiring. Give me the hardware wiring. The, um, the hardware plumbing, which will be um, the master cylinder straight off to the ABS unit. Now, it hasn't been wired. I haven't plugged it as yet. It plugs right here. I haven't plugged it as yet, but I am yet to wire it because um, I have to get two hub for the front wheels. So that came with the um, ABS sensor because my car came without the hubs with the ABS sensor. Oh, and while we're here, I did another small upgrade. I used the thicker rotor disc instead of the conventional CS rotor disc. This is a thick one. It is very hard to find in Tobago, but um, I luckily found one and it works pretty well. It gives you a stiffer um, pedal feel. Um, another small upgrade I did was um, convert from drum to um, rear disc brakes. I'm going to paint, paint the caliper this weekend also. Right. Um, yes, I know the nuts, and I'll be buying nuts today. Right. And uh, what else have I done? Well, 
this mightn't be an upgrade but um you'll notice i got this from inside a gdi turbo um said yeah fits well well at least i made it fit well um what else i did as upgrades um what else i can't remember right now but yeah i think that's it for the moment oh and another thing um i got in an accident a small accident whereas the back window got damaged and um i installed a rear wiper i just like the rear wiper it's very convenient so i bought a glass with a hole and i manually installed um a wiper it fits it fits back almost bolt for bolt um i'll just give you all a small peek all right this is it here it isn't wired as yet but there's two bolts originally that um you can fit two but it has one that is missing from in the back here it doesn't have the piece of um iron that supports it here but otherwise it will hold here and here and there's a screw also to the top under this rubber that holds it also so it's pretty sturdy right and people asking yes it's a evo 7 um steering wheel all right um for those wanting to see the original chassis plate um focus focus come on Okay, not seeing it so good here, but um, I'll clean it up that you all can see in another video. But it's a CS3 coming with a 4G 18 inside of it. Oh, and another thing is um, I did a slight modification to the fan controller. It have negative and positive here. I got rid of this um center line here once you once you cut this small wire here in the center the fan goes into a seal face mode whereas from the time you turn the key the fan will be on all the time as what others will call a direct connection but um i just got rid of the computer control line it is a blue line going straight to the ecu inside um i just severed it and the fan runs all the time from the time you turn to ignition um, the fans will be on all the time. It's a high compression build, as I said, about 10.5 to 1. So um, keeping it cool is very important. I want to upgrade to a double fan and keep them running all the time. Um, it will reduce the life of the fan, but um, it keeps the engine cool, which is mostly important to me. All right, and... Um, well, I plan to use a double core radiator. This is a single core radiator. I plan to upgrade to a double core radiator, but um, side feed. So this hose will be over here, and the bottom hose will be on this side. I realize um, the longer the water stays in the radiator, the cooler it will be. So um, I'm using side feed radiators eventually. All right. As I said, um, I'm looking to get a kit from Malaysia to stroke it out to 1.8 liters. You get piston, rings, bearings, lighting, connecting rods, and a new crankshaft. So you can afford to get this stroke. Um, I wanted to go as far as I can naturally aspirated because naturally aspirated creates a more, what to say, boy, better tone and add not quite sure how to describe it but there's better in engine orchestra if that is the if that's the proper term but there's more better orchestra as in better sounding 
when it is naturally aspirating. Alright, so um, any questions you can leave them in the comments below and um, I'll leave the um, description for the um, stroking kit in the description also. Alright, also the kit can be used on a 4G 13, 4G 15 and a 4G 18, it's specifically for the 4G 1 family. Alright, so um, that's it YouTubers, until next time.